Welcome back to the Youth Academy Road to Glory. Today we kickstart the second half of the season with our eyes on an FA Cup prize and hopefully some good potential for maybe European football next year. We're currently four points off sixth despite being in 12th. It's very tight for Europa or Conference League football moving forward for next year. So there's plenty potentially on the horizon. Of course, as we always do, you'll find a link in the description with a, uh, a link to the Twitter post where you guys can offer me your kit suggestions for that new year next year. We'll hold off on fan objectives until we know what the scenario is going to be for next season. But do get your kit suggestions in now. So there'll be, like I say, a link at the top of the description to take you to the Twitter post. Reply to that with your pictures for the kits or alternatively DM me on Instagram with your suggestions. Right, today, Birmingham away in the cup to start. I'm going to sim that with my strongest 11 and then jump in if things don't go as we'd like them to because I, ideally I'd like to play Bournemouth, Fulham and Brentford today if we can or at least get ourselves to the next round of the FA Cup and play that too. So we'll start by simming this one. Of course, new signing Salah on the right-hand side. Missing Tom Edwards for a couple of months, but still manageable without him in the short term. As long as he's there come crunch time, we should be fine. It wasn't an ideal January transfer window. Uh, we've had a bit of an iffy window twice now, back to back. So next summer is going to be crucial for us moving forward. But does offer more of the youth players that we currently have at the club the opportunity to come through and have their say in the 11. So some of you will probably be glad that I didn't sign loads of players in January. Uh, it swings and roundabouts and you can't please everybody. So we'll just play with what happens, shall we? Let's take on Birmingham. Let's beat Birmingham this time, please. We played them in the FA Cup with my non-starting players, a weakened 11 that was still strong enough to beat Birmingham, but couldn't. This time, we certainly should. Oh, it's beautiful from Salinas. Ghosted one way, feigned to go to the right, cuts back to the left and sweeps it home. We are 1-0 up in the FA Cup after half an hour. Salinas is in the box again. We've just littered the box with shirts there. And Samaras picks up a goal to go with his yellow card. Two goals in eight minutes. And we're certainly going through to the next round of the FA Cup now. A more comfortable draw again would be lovely, if you don't mind. That's three! Salinas bakes the offside trap, and we're cruising now. Oh, Javi Para, red card. That's not ideal. There's the fourth. Nacho Salinas with the treble and the hat-trick. Sorry, Birmingham. <laughs> you might be a man up, but you're four goals down now. By the whistle sounds comfortably really really surprisingly easily through to the next round Rotherham not only have taken Manchester United to a replay but now have taken them to extra time in that replay as well Javi Parra will be out for a game Pusamante is pleased to be still involved to some degree um, we're looking in Spain now for some talent and 7694 has me intrigued 73 to 94 has me intrigued as well, but I don't think there's going to be much talent there. We're also looking in Uruguay for the first time. I think maybe even ever. I don't recall ever scouting in Uruguay before. Uh, we'll just have a look, but I don't think any of those guys that we just called up are actually going to have much to offer longer term. Oh, 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 no. No, they're just not going to be any good. Sorry, lads. 80 rated. I bid. Oh, he's valued at 42 million. I bid 25 for him. He's only 80 rated, but I bid 25. Ordinarily, you'd say 25 million for an 80 rated player is probably about bang on. But he's valued at 42 million pounds. So that's why. They still aren't playing him, though. Patrick Guy in the next transfer window is going to be an AFC Chesnoy player. Of that, there is absolutely no doubt whatsoever. Bournemouth starting lineup: Alex Agadelo in goal, Abdul Hamid, Sanesi, Posh and Zamora at the back, Oscar Dawley and Danilo are 84 rated, their highest rated player. Silas, Fujimoto, Rafa Mir, and on the left hand side was Talismanio again for Bournemouth. They're a side that came up for the championship last year, they're a side that we want to get points against for a fan objective, so let's go and get the dub. 
Oscar Dawley. Tackled by Fleming, but still Oscar comes forward. Romero tries to get it off him, and he fails too. Okay, apparently he's untackleable, Oscar Dawley, in this game so far, but thankfully we've got possession back. Bustamante with the ball from the throw. Bianchi looking for Salah out wide. Round the corner, round the defender. Can't quite get there with Nacho. That will come back. And a quick one, two would have set Nacho Salinas right in behind. Oh, he's just played that away from me there. And now Rafa is in behind. Now can De Costa deal with the pace? No. Effort. Get up! At least try. He's gotten up and just stood. It's a good effort. He gets up well and... Uh, that's just FIFA things. 1-0 Bournemouth. Sissoko. Jumping forward to Salah. Salinas. With me here is Enrico Bianchi. Try and time that right. Nacho needs to turn. Nacho will find Bianchi. It's well blocked by Senesi. Still can't find a way through this Bournemouth backline. Haven't really tested the goalkeeper either. Their defenders have just been in the way the whole bloody time. Oh, what a first touch that is from Talismanio. Rafa Mir. Samanio kicks straight at Samaras, but they are getting particularly lucky here, Bournemouth. Thankfully, it's not going to cost me a second goal. I'd have been furious, really, considering the way that we've been battering them at one end, getting no luck whatsoever. For them to then get a large slice of it at this end would be just heartbreaking. They still lead by a goal to nil here, Bournemouth, but we are determined to find a way back into this. Fujimoto, Talismanio. I don't know anything about Talismanio, but he is so... Oh! When it is not going to be your day, it is not going to be your day. Bournemouth lead by two goals to nil. And that was entirely avoidable. For the ball inside, Bustamante's there. And Bianchi brings it down well. Messickville was rather reluctant to actually make a forward run a moment ago. Now he's made one, and I still can't get it to him. This Bournemouth defence are the best defensive line I've played against. All save. Other than maybe Brentford, to be fair. Bournemouth and Brentford, I think, are both turning into bogey teams now. Bournemouth yo-yoing in the Premier League and the Championship at the moment. But they are just better than... They're better than me. They're better than the 11 that we've had on any given moment against them. We're trying our hardest to do something against this team. But I quite simply just haven't had it today. Nor have I had any luck, as you've seen from the goals that they scored. But... Uh, I mean, that's... It's just... It is what it is, isn't it, sometimes? The, you try your hardest to make it as realistic as possible, but sometimes you get that sharp slap in the face. Oh no, you're playing a video game. <laughs> <sighs> Bournemouth 2, AFC just not nil, and we shall crack on into the next game against Fulham, which will actually sim. Fulham away then is the next one. Bournemouth were in the relegation zone when we played them. They'd lost 15 of 24 games, and then played like that against me, which is just ridiculous. Play the ball down the line. Ran offside. Some of the attack positioning of our forward players definitely kills a few of our moves. We have to take an extra beat in waiting for the second phase of play. And because someone is always drifting beyond the defensive line, it does make it difficult to try and build up your attacking moves. Fulham have had a lot of the ball, it feels like, in this game so far. And quite a few chances as well. Have a look at the actual stats. Six chances and 65% possession. Yes, Fulham have been the on-top side. They are the home side, but still, you go and get there. You'd like to think, oh, that maybe we can sneak a point, sneak a win, sorry, here. A point isn't really good enough from games against Bournemouth and Fulham if we really genuinely have aspirations of challenging for some sort of European position. We're having a bit of a post-January wobble. We had understandably some poor results against some of the bigger sides in the league over the course of the past couple of months where the fixture list wasn't kind to us City, Manchester United, Liverpool even though to be fair we beat Liverpool and drew with them we lost to Forest, we beat City so weirdly and exactly again proving the point why we in the first season simmed the big sides and played the smaller ones, I'm actually getting 
uh, good results against the big teams and bad results against the small teams. We now have bogey team Brentford, and I've never been more desperate to try and pick up three points against them. But again, it's away from home, and we are starting to lose touch a little bit with those in the top half. We really need three points this time out. Ledesma in goal for Brentford, Aidan Falcon, Kelly St. Juiced, and Aaron Hickey with his five star weak foot at left back. Two Sarvignato and Yanilt behind Andoni Gutierrez and uh, Oroz up top once more for them. Bianchi on his left from range. They hit Kelly's hand. We'll take the free kick, please. Thank you. Now, this is certainly an area where surely we stand the chance of getting a goal. Bianchi will lift it over the wall, get it back down again, hopefully, which is <gasps> just wide of the target. And back. And I see the runner, Bianchi. He's found nicely. Touch was a bit heavy, but play continues. Fleming and Bianchi looking for Nacho. He's just onside, I think. Salinas. Finally, ball in the back of the net for us today in a play game. And it's against Brentford too. We lead by a goal to nil away from home. And you definitely understand how important that goal is for us right now. Brilliant header by Samaras. Fleming having to turn away from men around him. Bundled and picks up a knock. Oh my lord. We're getting injuries left, right and centre at the minute. Had to take Salinas off in the last game because he picked up an injury. We've lost Edwards already. We had Romero pick up an injury in the latter stages of a game in the last episode. I don't know whether they've changed anything. That hit hand, I'm sure. But it, yep, that good. Whether they've changed anything with a recent patch. I don't think the game's even been patched. But we're getting very unlucky with injuries at the minute as well as everything else going on on the field. Maybe tried to squeeze that through a gap that didn't exist. Francisco closes that gap that definitely did exist. Oh, Samaras can't get that back to his teammate though and that was on its way in if Richardson didn't make the save. It would be massive if we can beat Brentford. They're the one side, more so than anywhere else, that we just haven't been able to get a result against at any point in this save. So far we are doing just that. Here's Fleming, he's on his way back to that left-hand side. Can he score a worldie? Oh, was on target I'm sure. But St. Zeus has been in the way of pretty much everything that uh, I've tried to build since the goal. Bianchi with the corner. Francisco's underneath it. I think it was actually St. Juice the wall that was with me there as well. And it wasn't far away of being on target. But certainly, even if it was on target, I think the keeper should have had it covered. And it did get a little bit nervy for a moment there. Especially when the keeper just ran and... Dunk! <laughs> Ow! Oh, it's a lovely through ball. Gutierrez... Brilliant save. Francisco's picked up an injury now as well. Everybody's getting injured at the minute. I'm going to have to take him off for backup. We've already made the change to take Fleming off for Schultz. This is insane, the amount of little niggles that are being picked up at this stage of the season. Salah. Oh, they've opened themselves up here. Bianchi looking for Lassa Schultz off the bench. Still can't seal it. Oh, Paris intercepted that well, but and here it comes for Brentford again. Stevens tackled by Para. I'm going to lunge into this to try and get there. I can't. Lewis Potter finds Stevens. Oh, I thought Mitch had got there. Ben Jack does. We are clinging on at the very death here. And Richardson somehow denies them once more. The keeper is up for Brentford. Ledesma in the box. And hopefully... I'm not even going to try and catch them out with the keeper in the wrong position. I just want to get the win. Just hold on to possession. Don't lose it for three minutes and we will get the dub. Salah to Bianchi. I'm running to the corner. I don't want I don't want a second goal. I just want the win. Well, if it's going to open up this much, then we might as well try. Bustamante on his left. Nacho Salinas. Stevens gets the toe in. We could have scored a second. We won't. But also, we won't need to. The curse is broken, Brentford are beaten, and the run of bad luck is over. Just in time for a knockout game of football against Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale in goal for Arsenal. Former AFC Chesnoid right back Helder Ferreira starts in the fullback position for them alongside Christensen, Militao and Grimaldo. Their midfield is a 91 Valverde, 89 Camavinga, and 88 Javi Simons, a 90 rated Saka, an 88 rated Martinelli, and an 89 rated Joao Felix. Good luck, Ches. 
Joao Felix over the top to Gabriel Martinelli. Oh, ball rose dummy. Thankfully, the shot hasn't done the keeper. Saka's fighting hard against Romero and wins it back as well. Tucks that to Camavinga. And he's wound up for a shot, but there's not enough space for that, pal. You're going to have to be a bit better than that. Expected him to have a bit more composure than, than that, actually, Camavinga. But I'm sure Arsenal will continue to destroy me for the majority of the game. We just have to try and do what we did against Brentford. Weather the storm, and if we can, nick a goal. Is he hurt, Fleming? It's another bloody injury! And forward to Javi Simons. Francisco does really well, then just panics and gets rid of it. I am yet to even make it into their half, I think, in the opening 20 minutes. If we win that, we can. Militao will bring it down. Actually bring it down very well. Valverde might have been offside there, and was indeed. Eventually, we'll actually have some possession. But I feel like I've barely even touched the ball so far. But apparently I've got more possession than them. Feels like a lie. Sissoko does really well. Nacho does brilliantly. Excellent interception. They've just always seemingly got someone free, Arsenal. I just went a bit direct there with Ben Jack. Put bollocks to it. I'm just going to run at him. And apparently it worked. Salinas gets away well. Fleming loitering in the middle of the pitch there. Not really offering me an option whatsoever. Could use him now, though. Still carrying that knock. He's going to find Romero. Salinas is in the middle. Ferreira's in the way. Back here to Samaras. Little bit of space. Not enough to actually get a meaningful shot away, but we have had a shot. And that's about as much as I think I can hope for from this game so far. <laughs> Saka's too good. He's too quick as well. Felix with the effort. Oof. Nearly fumbled. Richardson does well. Javi. Saka. Oh, I read the turn, but it was just too slick. Arsenal start the second half as they played the entirety of the first. Fede Valverde thinks he's Erling Haaland and we're 1-0 down in the cup. To be fair, he finished as well as Erling and he's 91 rated. It's the ball run again. It does me every time. Fede with good positioning and an unstoppable finish. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Xavi. Summer. No! Oh! It's gone over the bar. Don't panic. It's gone over the bar. Masrawi on for Ferreira for them. Wants out looking for Lassa, who's won that very well. Yankee turns. Samaras, that might open up for Salinas in there, you know. Up against Masrawi, who's not quite up to speed with the game so far. And buried by Nacho Salinas. It is a rescuable scoreline. We equalise at the Emirates. And against this truly world-class 11 for Arsenal... We might just take them to a replay. Masrawi just on for Helder Ferreira. And you could tell that he wasn't up to speed. He wasn't into the flow of the game. And we've made them pay for that. It turns out putting fresh legs on the pitch was the wrong decision for Mikel Arteta. Oh, mate. If Nacho wants to actually keep up with play, we could have a go here. We could have a go here. I thought I could square it. I thought I could square it and get a tap in. I'm going to lose it, aren't I? I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Oh! I still could. That's safe. Oh! It's a replay against Arsenal. Oh! Wrong decision, cheese noid. Wrong decision. I should have just shot with him. Oh, it's a proper head in hands moment at the end of the FA Cup tight. Oh, man. With just two shots in the whole game, we could have won it when I third. He's going to extra time. Uh, I thought he went to a replay in the round of 16 still. Nope. We play on. There is to be a winner today. Now... Where are we, Henry, going? Salah. Salinas! Oh, God, he went for it. Lassa Schultz is under this. I think he might have been offside. 
we get to that first? No. Oh my god, what is happening in this game? What is happening in this game? Heavy para. Heavy para. No, off the post. In the 105th minute, we could have gone 1 0 up, but Heavy para hits the woodwork. 2 1 up, even not 1 0. Back and out, Tez. Don't even know what's going on. Schultz is on the run. Those fresh legs up against Masrawi. He was at fault for our first goal. Is he going to make a mistake here? And let us in for another. Salah. Big save from Aaron Ramsdale. To deny Salah's first goal for the club. He's now coming off for Aidan McDonald. But Stamante is also on. Happy Parra to take the corner. Francisco. That was on target. Eden Militao in the way. We went to penalties in a recent Southampton episode. On the second channel. And there were more penalties missed than scored in that. I don't want to spoil too much about it if you want to go and watch it. But we might be able to avoid penalties if we score now. Which we don't. So it is to be a penalty shootout against this unbelievable Arsenal team. Where in the end we actually ended up holding our own. More possession, just as many chances. They are better than us though. Even from a penalty shootout, they're going to be favourites. Farias buries the first penalty. Salinas will look to do the same for his team. Nacho is our reliable goal scorer. And you won't see a better penalty than that, even if we go all the way to 16 pens each. Ferreira, Vieira, sorry, buried brilliantly. Javi Parra for the AFC Cheese. Down the middle, saved. Fede Valverde. Saved by Ruben Richardson, the chance to bring it back level. If Bianchi can bury, can bury, can bury this in the bottom corner, which he does. Ramsdale tried to stay central again. Eduardo Camavinga. It's a good pen into the side netting. Arsenal advantage once more. Lasse Schultz. Try and pop it in the same position if we can. Oh, I didn't get enough angle on it, but thankfully it still goes in. Emil Smith Rowe off the bench. Two. Penenka it into the corner. Really weird. Francisco da Costa. The centre back. Down the middle. Four each after five pens. It's sudden death. Gabby Martinelli. Calmly slots home. And now it's Bustamante. Who will look to calmly do the same. And does. Five each after six pens. Edemili Tao goes for power over placement and it works well. It's Romero, the man that scored a late goal in the FA Cup to ensure that we stayed in it against Birmingham. Scores a penalty here. Ongoing still. Now it's their left back, Grimaldo. Oh my God. 7-6 now. It's Ben Jack to take the penalty. And Ben Jack scores seven apiece. We're going to be on keepers soon. Masrawi, the man that was at fault for my goal. There is it. This is ongoing forever. Sissoko, it's right back versus right back. And it's Arsenal that progress. Aaron Ramsdale makes enough saves. Arsenal win 8-7 on penalties. And we are out of the FA Cup at the round of 16 stage. Any hopes of European football now stand on Premier League shoulders only. It's not a good penalty from Sissoko. It's just awful. I'm trying to skip it. I don't want to watch it again and again and again. Out of that competition then. So solely the Premier League left to focus on for the rest of the save. Eight, or rest of the season, sorry. Eight, seven. That was one of the most remarkable penalty shootouts I think I've ever been a part of. We'll advance as far as the Tottenham game because we should get some more monthly scouting reports. Fleming's out for five days. That's manageable. Anything from Spain? Not on this occasion. Jaime Suarez, maybe. We'll have a look. Unlikely, though. Anything from Uruguay? Doesn't look we're going to get anything here either. Josip Nieto. That's a No. Are you any good, sir? 55 rated centre-back. 
going to take more seasons than we have left to be worth using. So we are 11th in the Premier League, trying to get everybody's games in hands played. Schultz is probably going to be like, play me. Or to be fair, if Fleming is out injured, <laughs> then he can play. He's not just whinging for the sake of it. So we've played a game more than a couple of sides below us. In 27 games, we've played nine wins. We've played through nine draws. We've played through nine defeats. How's that for consistency? We still only... Four points off seventh. Yes, games in hand is still a thing. But five points, sorry, six points off Spurs, who are our next opponents. Europe via a league finish is still absolutely a possibility with Tottenham, Chelsea and West Brom to come tomorrow. Then Newcastle, Everton, Wolves, Burnley and Arsenal, Southampton, Forest and Brighton. There are points available for us in the remainder of this season. We just need to make sure we take them. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.